So I want to talk about the gaming community in 2011. And I gotta say, over the years, it's gotten pretty bad. Now there's four main factions of uh, the YouTube gaming community, whether it be the console war community, the uh, machinima or commentary community, the let's play community, or the uh, collector's community. These are all the biggest relevance in the gaming community here on YouTube from what I see. Now I'm going to talk to you and tell you why which one fucking sucks nowadays. Because they all do. They're all pretty much horrible nowadays for the most part. And it's frankly really disappointing. But what can you do? Because uh, basically the the problem with the major communities is, is that the mainstream one has taken over and the other ones have fallen into terrible niche inside joke cliche messes. Alright, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to talk about the console war community because um, it's the one I have the most friends with or, you know, I'm friends with the most people or talk to the most about. And let, let, let's go through this here. The console war community is a complete and utter disaster. It's filled with the same people doing the same jokes and the same bullshit since 2008. Honestly, there hasn't been a major change in this community since 2008. It's the same shit. Since me and Presidor were fucking talking about shit, it's been the same shit. The same shit. None of you guys have fucking changed. And even the new people that have come in around 2009 and 2010, it's the same shit. It's the same inside jokes. It's the same people going after the same people. Nothing has changed. And not only that, neither have the subjects. People, a lot of PS3 fanboys, still talk about the Red Ring of Death, for fuck's sakes. It's 2011. Seriously? Seriously. It, it, it's hilarious to see how much this community has not progressed. Whereas, you know, other communities have found new subjects, or at least new ways to express them, the console war community has turned into the same people making fun of the same people using the same jokes and basically doing the same things over and over again. Like seriously, if I showed you videos from 2009 to 2011, it'd be exactly the same. The only thing, very few of the players have changed and very few people have left. I'm still even somewhat part of it because of this iPhone shit. But I've been trying to leave it. El Presidor left it. And it's funny. Now let's talk about the Machinima community, which is now the mainstream gaming community here on YouTube. The Machinima community has its problems simply because of how the how, uh, some of the people act. White Boy 7th Street and all these other people have turned Machinima into a money-making business. People want to thrive off their YouTube videos. And it's become sickening. It's become sickening because people debate which game is going to be the most profitable. It's not about which game is fun. It's not about which game, you know, could they would enjoy more. Gaming is not a hobby to them anymore. They want to know which game will generate the most YouTube revenue. And that's sickening to me. That's sickening that your hobby is entirely based off how much ad revenue you get. It doesn't matter. It's just fucking YouTube. This isn't supposed to be your job. This is supposed to be a place to make videos, to entertain your fans, or voice your opinion. And I, I have no idea why this is even something. Why even this exists. Now, let's talk about the Let's Play community. The Let's Play community is either effectively dead or in here in the niche market. It's a niche market of people who still want to watch people play games and talk over them for hours. Mostly, uh, the most mainstream person right now is DSP, who has been causing ruffles with uh, media members because he doesn't understand how print media works, bitching about stupid shit like... Uh, PlayStation Magazine's reviews 
and PlayStation Magazine not covering the PSN outage, even though it's a fucking magazine, so they could only update on a month-to-month basis. So by the time they had the issue out, the issues, in case you didn't know, PlayStation Magazine works like any other magazine, and the issue is probably done a whole month before the next issue. So the reason they didn't talk about the PSN outage is because the issue was already done. Or it was already halfway through the PSN outage. How are they supposed to know that the PlayStation outage was supposed to last an entire month? They probably didn't know. And why would they spend their time wasting wasting precious editorial space talking about something that could be over by the time the magazine releases on store shelves? You see, magazines are no longer about gaming news. They are about editorials because no one would go to a magazine for gaming news because by the time they get it, it's already a month old. But I digress. That was a huge fucking tangent. But seriously, DSP is basically the only one of these Let's Players, and he is a Let's Player whether he wants to fucking admit it or not. That's what he is. He's not part of the Machinima community even though he... uh, contracts with machinima it doesn't mean the same thing because uh honestly if you ask the machinima community whether they'd watch x jaws or dsp they're gonna tell you x jaws nine out of ten because uh that's who they appeal to the you the machinima community is the call of duty community whether they want to admit it or not look at how well machinima realms is doing to persuade your opinion otherwise (laughs) <laughs> and uh, the real Shinima, Machinima community is pretty much dead because uh, Rooster Teeth took over that entire business because Machinima is no longer about Machinimas. But I digress. Again, another fucking tangent. Uh, the Let's Play community is pretty much a niche market. People who watch DSP and people who don't watch DSP. Yay! Now let's talk about the last market, which is uh, the Pete Door market. What the fuck? Community. The Pete Door fucking collector's community, which uh, is mostly dying or niche, basically because it's a bunch of people buying older games, and no one really cares for the most part because it's the same, same thing. It's the same community buying the same stuff, doing the same thing. Like, it really doesn't change, which uh, will never hold people's intention spans. The problem with the gaming community nowadays is that it's fallen to repetitiveness. It's the same people doing the same type of videos, doing the same thing over and over again. I wish I could change it up, but I'm not that creative of a person. And the majority of my videos nowadays goes towards my gaming media hobby. Because I write articles for different websites, and I do videos for different websites. So I really don't care about the YouTube community. I care about my fans, and I care about making entertainment for my fans and other websites. Because ultimately, this community is pretty much just trash. Not trash in the sense that the people are trash, but more that a lot of the video makers... Haven't really strived to push this community farther than it is. And that's because YouTube as a medium is just becoming dull. Uh, Video making has devolved into trying to make living off of or has fallen into just e-drama. YouTube has basically become a glorified um, forum and AdSense website. And that's a major problem with the community today. Samuel out.